click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a new topic that is problem number one which is based on minimum phase, maximum phase and mixed phase system. Check whether the following system is having a minimum phase, mixed phased or max phase system. And the function is given h of z is equal to 6 plus z inverse minus z to the power minus 2. Now, how to identify whether this function is minimum phase, maximum phase or mixed phase system? This solution is total depends on location of pole or zero. So first of all, we will find out the factors of this so that you will get the idea of poles or zero. So first of all, my question is, h of z is 6 plus z inverse minus z to the power minus 2. Now if you want then you can keep this equation as it is or else convert it into a positive power of z. So here we have a lowest power of z which is minus 2. So if we multiply whole equation by z to the power 2 we are going to multiply and divide. So if we multiply and divide z to the power 2 in numerator as well as in denominator then what you will get? Here you will get 6z square. Next, z inverse is multiplied by z to the power 2. So you will get only z to the power 1. And then at the end, we have z to the power minus 2. I'm multiplying z to the power 2 on numerator as well as denominator. So z to the power minus 2 is multiplied with z to the power 2. If the places are same, then powers always get added. So 2 minus 2 becomes 0 and z to the power 0 is always 1. So I'll write here 1 and I am going to divide the whole equation by z square. Now, we'll find out the factors of this numerator and these factors will give us the value of zeros. So, what you will get? The factors are z plus half and z minus 1 by 3 and in denominator we have z square. So these two values or basically we can say that the numerator will give us values of zeros and denominator will give us the value of poles. Now look at it. Here the poles we have two poles. The count of number of poles is total depends on the number of factors present in denominator or the power of denominator or we can say the power of z in denominator. Here the power is 2 so I can say that we have a two poles and both are at origin because I am going to compare this denominator part or factors with respect to 0. Similarly, to find out the location of zeros, we will also compare each and every factors with zero. So what you will get? So we will calculate number of poles and number of zeros first of all as well as their locations. So here we have two zeros and their location is First of all, if I equate this part with 0, what you will get? Minus half and if I equate these two part with 0, then you will get 1 by 3. Now, we will calculate the poles. As I said, we have a two poles and both the poles are at origin. Now, look at here, which definition will satisfy over here? Basically, we have studied a three definition. 
first definition is related to minimum fist if the number of poles and zeros are lying inside unit circle then the function or the system is minimum phase system and the second definition was if the number of poles and zeros are lying outside the unit circle all number of poles and zeros then the system is max phase system or maximum phase system and what about mix if few number of poles or zeros lying inside as well as lying outside the unit circle then it is nothing but the mixed phase system but here look at here here the poles are at origin so we'll move on to z now look at here we have a two poles and both are at origin and in zeros both are lying inside the unit circle which means my all the poles and zeros are lying inside the unit circle basically the important factor one is zeros if my all zeros are lying inside the unit circle then it is a minimum phase system so according to definition i can say that this h of z this h of z is a minimum phase system So this is way to find out whether the function is related to minimum phase, maximum phase or mixed phase. Now we will solve a new numerical in next video. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.